In today's video, we're going to go over how to download apps on the Fitbit Versa and Fitbit Versa Lite. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Let's jump right in. So downloading apps on the Fitbit Versa or Fitbit Versa Lite is super easy. Uh, you will need to be connected to a smartphone and you will need to have the Fitbit app downloaded. This is the app right here. And you can see in the upper right corner that our Fitbit is connected to the app as well. This is also important for installing the app. So make sure you are connected. If not, you may need to turn on your Bluetooth settings. All right, let's go ahead and in the upper right corner, click on the, the Fitbit icon up here. Go to apps. And you'll have two tabs. One is for my apps, which are apps that you have already installed and all apps is basically the store where you'll find new apps to download. And there's a couple of ways you can find apps. So there are categories here where you can find featured apps, recommended apps, staff picks, and other categories of apps. Or you can go to the upper right corner, click on the settings wheel, and you can do a search for uh, specific apps, a specific one that you may want to uh, find. So I'm gonna do a search just type, tap right in there, type in calculator, and you'll see they have many different calculator options, but I wanna show you some specific things. So this first app here is called Calc and Conv. If we tap on that, um, this is one app you can download. Now I want you to pay attention to this. Any app where you see this banner that says, this may require payment, this is letting you know that it is not a free app, and you will need to pay for it. Um, you will be able to install the app, but once you go to open it, um, they won't allow you to go any further without buying the app. So just keep that in mind. So this is a paid calculator app. If I go back, oh, sorry, one more thing. It'll always tell you in the description how much the app is. So down here, this app is purchas purchasable for $199, FYI. We're gonna go back. If I go to this calculator, for example, oh, not that one. This is a free calculator. You don't see that little banner right there and there is no price down here. So that's how you know it's a totally free app and you can kind of go through and see if the free apps will suffice. If not, you can always go back and, and buy the uh, paid one. So just to show you the process, because I want to make sure you're aware, because this was a little confusing to me at first. So let's say I tap on this app and I decide to install it. Knowing that it's a paid app, based on what I just showed you, this little banner right here. So the whole app is going to install. Once the bar goes all the way across, you'll know that it has been installed and it'll basically change from this bar and it'll say uninstall. That's how you know it's been installed. Then you'll want to go to your Fitbit and you'll just swipe over, all done. Swipe left, swipe left, and this is our app right here, okay? Now, we're gonna tap on here. So we're opening up the app, and the first time it will always take a few seconds. And so you can see the app, and in a few seconds, a pop-up should, oh, there it is. So this pop-up will come up and it'll tell you to continue using the app, you will need to purchase it and it has a link to the website and it has a code. So what you would do is on your phone, and the text is a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it. Always on the, the same page you install the app, if you swipe down, they'll have a link of where you can purchase the app. So we'll just tap on here. It'll take us to the KPay website and then you'll type in the number that you see on your Fitbit. So number is 68592 it just links your Fitbit right to the site final step and then there is the price how much it is to buy the app if you have a promo code you can put that here if not you would come down here put in your email address and you would select if you want to use PayPal or if you want to use a card if you use a card they do charge a 25 cent fee as well and after that 
you submit it and then it will unlock the app and allow you to use it on your phone. So this is the process to install a paid app. Free apps, you don't have to do any of this stuff. You just hit the install button that you see at the top right here. The app will install and you'll find it on here, open it, and it's a done deal. So essentially that's how you um, install an app. Now let's say really quickly, let's say you say, hey, I don't want that app now that I know it's paid. So all we're gonna do is go back to that same app or just swipe up to the top and you can just tap uninstall and that will remove the app uh, from your Fitbit. So we're out of it. Back on our home screen, swiping left and you'll see the app is now gone. So that is the process to install uh, or to download an app on your Fitbit Versa and Fitbit Versa Lite. I hope you guys did find that helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks again, we appreciate um, any feedback. Also in the comment section down below, let us know um, again if you learned something, if it was helpful, or if it wasn't, so we can make adjustments for next time. Thanks again. Have a